Hey guys, I'm Chris, your real estate problem solver with Keller Williams. I'm actually at a uh, house here that I wanted to show everybody and do a little talk with you about HUD foreclosures. This right here is a HUD foreclosure. This nice big 2,500 square foot house is been on the market as a HUD foreclosure for about a year now. Almost, well, actually eight months, but it was a for, HUD foreclosure before now, and it went back on the market. So, since we've actually got the contract on this house, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it and how the process works. So, just stay with me for a second, and we'll get into it. Okay, guys. So, this HUD foreclosure is one of maybe two or three uh, houses in um, the middle Georgia area that are actually on the um, on the HUD listing. There's not very many around right now, but <laughs> this is 2023 and I'm expecting to see a few more in the uh, coming months. So what are we going to talk about? This HUD foreclosure, this house is a HUD foreclosure and what is the process for putting a bid in on a HUD foreclosure? So, what we did was you go to hudhomestore.com and you set up an account. Now, when you find the house that you want to put a bid in on, and here's how the process works, and it's changed a lot in the pre in, since the previous years. So, um, you may or may not want to do this, but the way it works now is you find the house that you like, you set up an account, and you bid on it. Now, what they'll do first is you have to tell them what you're willing to pay, um, what you want HUD to pay in closing, and then a few essential points, and then you submit the bid. Now, I think it goes per week. So, if you put in a bid in on Wednesday, you'll find out the following Monday whether or not you got it. They'll take up all the bids for one week. Now, if you get an email and it says that you, they accepted your offer, here's where it gets interesting. Normally, what used to happen was the listing would show the um, purchase package on there so you could read through it, you could read all the terms, you know what you're getting into, you understand everything before you ever put in a bid. They don't do that now. Now, you have to put in the bid, and if you get the bid, then they will send you an email with some hey guys i'm sorry my uh, phone actually went on the fritz so i had to uh, fix a few things and come back again so as i was saying if you win the bid uh they will send you an email saying congratulations you won the bid here's what you have to do you have to in 48 hours you have to send them proof of funds or a pre-approval letter you have to send them earnest money, 500, 1,000, or 1,500, depend on the dollar amount of the, of the uh, agreed upon purchase price. Um, you have to send them the uh, pre-approval or proof of funds, earnest money, and you also have to send them if you uh, which attorney you want to use. Now, if your attorney is not listed with HUD, then they either have to get listed with HUD or you have to, um, or if they are listed, then you have to send the uh, updated uh, version of the attorney, the closing attorney's uh, errors and omissions insurance policy binder. And that will prove to them that uh, they're, still, they're still current so they can do the closing. All this has to be done in 48 hours. So, um, once you get all that, then you will send the, um, that all in. Uh, the earnest money goes to the listing agent. The agent has to send it, uh, has to uh, scan it in to her side or his side. And then the buyer's agent has to scan it in, or the buyer has to scan it into their account and um, show that they've got uh, earnest money has been accounted for. So, well, it looks like we got a visitor next door. Hey, come on. Okay. All right, so anyway, brief intermission. 
the all right so now that you've got all the paperwork sent into them then they send you the contract and you read it over and sign it the buyer signs it buyer's agent listing agent and the HUD asset manager will sign it and I was told that the uh, closing attorney will sign it too but they do not I found out just now that the closing attorney didn't even have our purchase sales agreement yet so I had to send it to her which means it's going to be another week before we can get the title search completed and go to closing. So, just be all aware of that. Now, got the PSA done. Um, and then you get all the paperwork and go through it and see the terms and conditions. Which basically means um, a lot of it covers how you get your earnest money back. You have 15 days if you're buying it as an owner-occupant. You've got 10 days inspection if you are buying it as an investor <clears throat> and you are responsible for everything you are responsible for doing the inspection you're responsible for doing any checks and due diligence that you have to do if power and water is turned off you have to also get a form from the asset manager to fill out to send to a third party servicer to have them approve you turning on water and utilities then you take that to your utility company and have them turn it on. And you're only allowed three days to turn it on. So you've got to coordinate all this in 72 hours. It's not fun. So um, this house in particular, we can't turn on water because the water heater has been broken. Uh, it's not broken, but the uh, lines are cut. So um, we can't check water, but we could check electricity. So we managed to get the electricity turned on, do the inspection, do all this. We had uh, air conditioning people come out and uh, do a quick look over on the air conditioner um, and give their evaluation. But ultimately, HUD is not taking responsibility for anything. You do your checks, you're buying it as, as is, where it is, how it is. So if you miss anything, it's all on you. They're not taking responsibility for anything. And once all that is done, you've got 15 days. The 15 days is up. You say, okay, let's go. And y'all go to closing. So that's it in a nutshell. If you're interested in uh, looking for a HUD home, you can contact me. I've already done it before. I know how to do it at 478-256-9877. Uh, or you can go to my email at christillman at kw.com. So that's it for this one, and I'll talk to you on the next one, guys.